Phaeton, one of the most popular members of the trope apart from Corolla in the Hunter Hunter fandom. Now his short appearance reminds a lot of people of Hiei from Togashi's previous work Yu Yu Hakusho, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. Today I'm going to talk about Phaeton's Pain Packer ability. Now for those who have forgotten what Phaeton's Pain Packer ability, it was revealed in the Chimera and Ark where he fought against the Zahn. And basically what he did, he conjured up a bunch of armor when in a rage state. Now it's stated that he can summon different forms of armor for different rages feeling so this was only one of the forms of armor we'd seen there is speculation or theory video that he can summon more than one armor and we are probably yet to see that armor maybe we'll see it very soon with Phaeton appearing in the latest arc of Hunter x Hunter so hopefully we'll see some of that armor very very soon if he gets the fight in this latest arc. Phaeton also has another ability called Rising Sun. Now basically what he does, he transmutes an aura into scorching heat depending on the pain and injuries inflicted onto him in battle. This is basically manifest for a ball, ball of aura that's like the sun and basically it burns their victims to death. It basically scorched Zazan to death and it was a very powerful attack because it had a large radius and even the phantom trope had to get out of the way while they're in the ant burrows of the nest of their hideouts so it was a very powerful attack with a large impact so it was basically an exploding sun that did a shitload of damage and because the opponents are engulfed by a large flaming ball their oxygen gets cut off so that's a lot of heat and a lot of smoke cutting off their oxygen and suffocating them to death fairly quickly if you're getting caught in a big ball of flame like that but luckily Phaeton is protected from his pain packer armor so he's practically safe from the ability. Why am I bringing up Rising Sun and Pain Packer? Well, someone in my comment section said, is Phaeton's Nan abilities in the category of a counteract Nan? Now, they are Chondra abilities and emissions, stuff like that, but the way they work, they do sort of fall under a counteract Nan ability, so props to that person for bringing it up, because it made a good topic for me to talk about, because I run out of stuff to talk about when Hunter Hunter has his days off. Now, for those who forgot how Rising Sun works, Rising Sun works in a way when Phaeton takes damage, he can basically use that damage and wounds and battle scars he's taken during the fight and turn that into the giant ball of blazing aura. The giant sun he can summon that can just demolish his opponents. Now, in a way, the best way to describe it for people who are confused, think of it as the Pokemon abilities counter and mirror coat that Wobbuffet can use and depending on how strong your special ability is and how strong your physical ability is you can direct that attack right back at your opponent doing double the damage that's what sort of rising sun is like so how does rising sun work so basically the more damage that Phaeton takes in battle the hotter the fire will be and the longer it will burn so basically the more damage you do to Phaeton the hotter the flame will be and the longer you'll probably burn to death for messing with the little guy. Now is this 100% confirmed that Pain Packer and Rising Sun are counteracting Nen subcategory abilities? No it's not, it's not 100% confirmed, this is just theory and speculation that I am pulling out of my butt so I do apologize if I've taken you off for a wild ride sitting down for this video for five minutes wondering if you're going to get an answer or no no this is just a theory and speculation video of does his nan abilities fall into that subcategory of counteract nan powers now whether it does or doesn't it's been a fun discussion to talk about this new form of counteract nan abilities and if you think about a bunch of other characters we've met do their abilities fall into that category do you think that other characters that we've met in the past of Hunter x Hunter where their abilities fall under these new subcategories of Nan. If you have any speculations or ideas tell me down in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to have a little discussion going. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you're new. I post Hunter x Hunter content every other day, I do recap chapters of the latest Hunter x Hunter chapters and I talk about other animes that I'm a fan of. I also stream on Twitch every now and then playing some monster under so be sure to check me out anyways thanks for sticking by thanks for watching have a wonderful day and peace out